Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today is a special day. I am currently level 100 and after my first game I will get enough points to pass on to the next level, 101. So I wanted to make this special video to show you um, me reaching that level and hopefully it'll be a game that I will win which will make it even more sweeter. I paused the video just to continue searching for an opponent and it's been taking quite a long time to find an opponent. Uh, there we finally have one. A level 72 Tour Pro with an average of 150. Alright, we have a three hole tournament here. And uh, looks like my opponent has starter clubs. So, yeah, depending how long the holes are, he might not be able to reach greens in two if he has, um, if they are very long par fives. Uh, yeah, by the looks of it, he's also using starter equipment. So, uh, everything is starter clubs. So there's not a good chance he'll win this game. Um, you know, in order to, to do well in this game, and there you go, he's already hit his first shot into the fescue. In order to do well in, in this game, you, you, you actually need to buy some equipment. And the best way to do that is to watch some ads to earn those gold credits. So I'm not going to take any chances here because if I hit that direction, I probably will land in the bunker or in the rough. So I'm going to play it a bit short over here. Teal for the three wood so that I don't have any danger and let's do it alright even with a 268 yard wedge I was able to hit 281 yards into the wind so yeah that's a bit uh, strange anyway my opponents in the fescue alright his first shot barely traveled a yard or two a second shot, I mean, first shot out of the fescue. Um, yeah, this is already a foregone conclusion. This match is already won by me. It's just a matter of time now. Alright, he's still... He'll be playing this next shot for par, and he's still 118 yards short of the flag. Alright, his fourth shot should be on the green. Nice little roll, even about 10 yard, 10 feet from the hole. It's going a little bit past now, we're looking at about 15 feet. Alright, my turn. Now I will be hitting a sandwich with a bit with a le little less spin than I usually use because we're hitting into the wind. I do have 101 yards to go. So I don't want the ball to travel. The club's yardage is only 100, so I want to give it a little bit more. Alright, I expect the shot should be close. It is. And that should set me up for a birdie. Hopefully I will get it. Alright, my turn. Let's hope for a birdie here. It's a slow green, so it won't break too much. We'll aim just outside the cup. Alright, that's a birdie. Double bogey there for my opponent. I've already got a three shot lead. All right, very short uh, par four. Might be able to drive the green on this one. Aim to the left to allow the ball to drift back towards the right, towards the flag, hitting into a very slight wind. Oh dear, I've hit the ding very early. I'm not sure why I did that. Anyway, as a result, the ball will travel more or less straight, leaving me with a terribly long putt. And uh, yeah, that uh, that's not what I wanted. Anyway, that uh, even if it went straight, it would have cleared the green. It seems like the ball didn't uh, wasn't affected by the green too much. 
uh, by the wind. The wind doesn't affect, didn't appear to affect the ball. Still traveled 314 yards uh, into the wind. My opponent probably won't make the green. It will be 40 or 50 yards short or in the bunker. Yeah, in the sand. Alright, he's having a really hard time. Alright, that's a pretty good shot. He might be able to make a par. Alright, now I've got a terribly long putt. These um, greens where you have a long flat section and then a dip and then a flat section, the power meter isn't always very accurate, so we might have to give it a bit more. The green does look to be sloping more from the right to the left where I'm starting, but then from the left to the right when it hits that slope. So I'm going to actually aim slightly to this side to compensate for that big slope change there all right let's see i'm going to give it a bit more power so to ensure that it gets down the slope you see i drifted away there i should have aimed even more to the other side all right so my opponent now has a chance to make his par and he just misses it I have a chance to make birdie. This will be a left to right putt. All right, please go in. I would like another birdie. That's in. All right, two birdies in a row. All right, my opponent just scored a bogey. As you can see, that's a pretty good scorecard for me. Not so much for him. Final hole, I'm already up by five shots. Not that it matters, this is just a formality now. Alright, this is quite a tricky hole, but I will be taking a risk over here, even though I don't need to. Uh, I'm confident that I can clear the fairway, land about over here somewhere. However, or it might land in the brush and kick forward into the fairway. So let's see what happens. Her swing meter was lagging terribly. You can probably see it if you watch that video again. As a result, it's not going to go as far. And I'm in the fescue. Uh, that was not my fault. The swing meter was lagging terribly and I could not time the ding properly. Alright, my phone opponent managed to get the ball onto the fairway, even though it landed in the rough, it kicked forward. And uh, he still has a very long way to go to the green. Might get there or not, just short in the fescue. Alright, I'm in a bit of mess over here. I will take a sandwich, I will use maximum backspin to try and get the ball up in the air. Aim it to the right to compensate for that wind. And uh, smash it about, let's make it about 95 yards power to compensate for the fact that we're hitting out of the fescue. And uh, yeah, it hasn't even gotten enough. Even full power on a sandwich wouldn't have been enough. Anyway, it leaves me with a 16-yard pitch, and I'm confident I will get that pretty close, and then still make a par. Oh dear. Alright, so. Here we go, I'll be changing to a pitch shot with my loftiest club, 17-yard wedge. Um, these greens do roll quite a bit, so I'm going to give it a little bit less power. The slope is coming from the left, so we want the ball will stop and roll slightly to our right from this perspective. 
almost full power and I've hit the ding early because I was anticipating that it might lag and as you can see it kicked more to the left anyway it sets me up for a par um, I was only early on the ding because of the fact that I was worrying about um, about the lag and then it didn't lag so it's very convenient you know sometimes it lags sometimes it doesn't and you never know when it's going to lag so it makes for inconsistent ding timings Okay, so here we have a par. So in the end, my scorecard was birdie, birdie, par. Not bad. Perfect ding that time. And that's a par. Alright, so now the most uh, exciting part of the thing, of this video, is me leveling up to 101. Alright, useless coins. Alright, there we go. Not that 10,100 coins means anything, but I've reached level 101. Three items available to rent uh, a putter, a driver, level 1, level, ni level 91 driver and a level 91 wedge. The clubs that I have are already better than these anyway. You can see by the red numbers next to the driver uh, that uh, my driver is better and you can see by the wedge my wedge is definitely better. However the putter does seem to be an improvement so I will be renting that and we'll see how it goes since it looks like it's a better putter in every way than what I've got. Alright, I hope you enjoyed watching that video, and if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.